what's up guys i hope you're all doing well in this video we're gonna learn how we can create an amazing freeze frame clone effect right inside of adobe premiere pro without using any plugin or after effect so without further any ado let's jump into the video So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I am currently using 2020 version of Adobe Premiere Pro. You can be using any version, whatever you have. Don't worry about it. This trick will be work on any version of Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we have a footage of snowboard jumping. I'm downloaded it from Inveto Elements. You can also get the link in the description. I just want to make a first freeze frame right there. So for that, I'm just export a frame right there. I'm just click on this camera and I got this export frame properties i'm just select a format to png because later we are just selecting our object using adobe photoshop so obviously the png is the best option we can get right there so make sure that your import into project will be checked and press ok and go to your projects and you got a uh, export frame right there and just drop it above our footage and now i'm just right click on this footage and go to edit in adobe photoshop the shop. Here you go, after a few seconds it will be appear in your Adobe Photoshop and first thing we have to be doing Adobe Photoshop, we have to be select our object and extract it from our background. For that you can be use any tool whatever you think is the best for you. You can be use a pen tool if you think is the best tool and you can be do it faster with the correct way with a correct selection you can be use a pen tool. I'm just selecting a quick selection tool is the best for me for now so I'm just selecting our object so I'm just make a mask right there so here is our object extracted from our background so I just press ctrl s to save this file and just go back to our premium so the same like that I just want to make another keyframes right there I just make export keyframes and then export it on our timeline above to our footage and now uh, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Now I'm just selecting our object. Now mask it and now control S for save it. And now our footage extended to the very beginning and crop our extra layer that is above to our frame. So I'm just cut it. So as you can see our freeze frame effect is just ready we can be do it in a few minutes it's just a few steps to create so we can also do that in after effect but using after effect is not possible for everybody because a lot of people don't even have after effect and a lot of people don't have a good pc to use after effect so i can do that in adobe photoshop as you all know adobe photoshop is the common software and i think so everybody who watched this video know about adobe photoshop shop basic uses so here is the video of today i hope you like this video if you like this video give me a big thumbs up and comment below if you have any question about this video or any other video please let me know in the comment section i will try my best to answer your question as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one